Hi, and welcome back to Lab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business, products, and or services. This is Lab.Cafe number 102. Thanks for joining. We'll get with you in a moment. Hi, welcome back to Lab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business, products, and or services. Today, I have Bryant McNeil in the house. How are you doing, Bryant? I'm wonderful. I couldn't be better. So uh, let's see, uh, speeches, speaking, what are you doing? Let, let's hear about it. Okay. Well, I am a internet marketer. Um, I, I actually I am doing that part, part time. Um, for the most part, I, I do a lot of training uh, here on my regular job, so to speak. Uh, and I, I help our marketing team here to uh, uh, generate more leads and sales, uh, u utilizing some of the tools and uh, things that, that I've actually researched myself and utilized on my own. And so now I'm giving them these tools to help them to, to grow uh, the leads that they're generating. The interesting thing about that is uh, they, they had a presence on, on Facebook for a while. And uh, since we started back, I think it was in like November of me really trying to help them focus on that part of their business, uh, mm -hmm. is that over 20% of their new leads are coming from the Facebook uh, direction right now that, that we've generated. So um, oh. now we're putting them on Twitter. We got uh, Instagram. We're going to Pinterest. Um, we're, we're trying to uh, utilize some of the other uh, in, uh, social media marketing that's out there. But again, it's a small team of people trying to do this, which makes it kind of difficult for them, but trying to help them to appreciate the necessity to automate. Yeah. You don't have to do everything yeah. by, by hand. If you automate a lot of this stuff and utilize the tools that's available, uh, you can do a lot of things with a very small staff. So that's what we're working on now. I got to ask you though, where are most of your clients popping up? Are they in your in your hometown, or are they all across the board, across the states? I mean, where where do you find most of your clients from? Most of our folks are, are coming from actually across the across the the continental United States. Oh, okay. Um, some some Canada. Um, uh, some of our team members now we do have team members uh, that are. Uh, in other countries, you know, so, but they're not directly on my team. So I, I can't uh, claim yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. But I mean, that's, that's good to know because th there are some people that even though they are social media, um, you know, marketers and things like this, there mm -hmm. are some that really are concentrating on their own hometowns. Like they go that's from, they, they almost go business to business and they go, hey, we've got these products to show you. Um, you know, these are services that we can help you with. Right. And in that case, that's good to know. So, you know, people are not sitting there in the dark going, hey, where does this guy cover this? You know, right. are they going to be able to help me in my neighborhood? <laughs> so, right. and, yeah. and that's the thing right there. Just trying to trying to utilize uh, the the for, for small companies, entrepreneurs, you know, what it calls solopreneurs. Uh, yeah. They're. A lot of those folks are are nestled in their community, as you mentioned. But yeah. at the same time, you, they they can take that little niche that they have and build it. But sometimes they don't realize that they can scale it, yeah. and, and, and 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 so they they get bogged down in in the the day to day, you know, and and they forget that. Uh, you you have to do more than just uh, uh, be in your business. Uh, you have to mind your business, and and, yeah. and that, that's what a lot of folks get caught up with, with doing things that are not. They they let me put it this way: they mistake activity for productivity. Does that <laughs> yeah, make sense? Yep. You know. Yep. They, they're doing things, but it's not the things that they need to be doing to move their business forward. And that's yeah. what we're trying to help them to, to understand. There's there's key elements, key activities that you need to do, no matter what the business is, that will move you forward. But if you consistently do those small things on a daily basis, they're going to grow your business over time. 
uh, you might have heard of the book, The Compounding Effect. Yep. You know, uh, that's that's what we're talking about. It's compounding those those activities, those daily activities that mean a ton down the road. They may not seem like you're doing a whole lot right now, but when you get down the road and the, the compounding effect takes place, uh, it makes all the difference in the world. You know, it's kind of like exercise. It's yep. easy to do, but it's easy not to do. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, you're on Facebook and you have a standalone website where people can contact you. What right. I'm going to do is have you go ahead and share those links in the chat bar and I will extract them and put them into the show notes. But okay. uh, for now, I'm going to say thanks for stopping by and you're welcome to jump on any time and do any updates or any kind of announcements. Okay. Uh, and like like you probably know this, and some people don't realize this, but the more often you're coming on to actually do these posts and updates, uh -huh. the better off you are because the numbers speak for themselves. And the more often you do video content, the, the more chance you are of getting seen by uh, potential clients. Absolutely. And that, I've always been afraid, uh, and I must admit it, uh, for the longest time to, to get on video because you it's like, oh, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? You know, <laughs> and I think everybody goes through that fear. But then then uh, I, I go back and I look at uh, different people that 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 I look at, I look to as mentors and just kind of yeah. follow them. And I see their when you go back in their history. Oh, they weren't that good either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should see some of my old stuff. <laughs> so so it, it just, it's like anything. It takes time to develop. It takes time to get better. But again, we talked about action. Yeah, Taking if you don't action, start, you won't get there. Absolutely. That's it in a nutshell. That's yep. it in a nutshell. I tr truly appreciate the opportunity to coming on. I'll put that in the show notes. I mean, put that in the message and, uh, and yeah. look forward to, to coming on again. Nice meeting you, Brian. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, welcome back to the Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business products and or services. Today we have Charlotta Plot. Is it Charlotta or is it just Charlotte? Just Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm over here in Denmark, so I know some people that are named Charlotta. I so. know. It's like uh, Princess Charlotte in the UK. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So uh, what kind of products or services are you offering these days? <laughs> well, I offer entrepreneurs and small business owners the opportunity to be on my podcast, which is called Biz Stories Shared. And the reason for the format that I use is that for 20 years, I helped people preserve their photographs and their stories in albums. And I just know how important stories are for future generations. And actually, a podcast, since it's an evergreen product, it really is a way for future generations to know how you might be. And so that's why I chose this format to, uh, to be able to allow people, business people, to share their stories so other people could get to know them. Like them and trust them. Yeah. Well, most people I don't know, most people I don't like, and most people I don't trust. <laughs> no like and trust. I know that's one of those catchphrases that you hear the media gurus that are sitting there talking about. And I think it's one of those things. That's, Is it antiquated now? Don't use that anymore, you're saying. Is that what you're saying? No like and trust. Yeah. Did you say don't use that anymore? Um, I never use it because it sounds phony. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, to be honest, if if somebody's going to like you, they're going to make that as they're going to make that decision within the first few words that you're speaking to them. Um, mm -hmm. Really, that's that's basically all you can do and all you can expect to do. Um, to be honest with people is the most important part of any kind of pitch, regardless of what it's about. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 So um, and now what are you going to be doing? It sounds like you're going to be trying to do some blabbing and getting set up on this platform so you can start meeting people as well. Uh, that's what I, my intention is. And what I really 
liked the question that you asked Bryant if his audience was local or national. Yeah. And and most of my guests are local because in the Phoenix Valley, there's a lot of people, small business people and entrepreneurs. And, and I just feel like it's a really great opportunity for them to do advertise their business and, and to let the world know what they are, what they have to offer and what's available to them when they connect with them. And I've had some wonderful, wonderful stories that, uh, that, I know people will enjoy when they go to the podcast on my website. Well, that's great. So what I'll ask you to do is go ahead and share those links to your podcast and all other things. And you're welcome to jump on anytime and bring in updates and things like that. And if you've got an announcement for some kind of event or show, you can come back on and give those out as well. All right. Thank you very much for your generosity and your time and helping me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad to see you. I mean, I it, it actually didn't you. take you that long to get set up. I'm really kind of like pleasantly surprised you got that down right away. Well, good. good. It, it was just because you encouraged me and gave me the time to work through it. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> no problem. You have a great day, Charlotte. All nice right. Meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. Bye. Hi, welcome back to Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business, products, and or services. Today I have Angie of The Right Way in the house. How are you doing, Angie? Oh, not too bad, Donald. You're doing good. What, is, so what kind of products are you, services are you providing? Well, as far as product goes, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's service, yeah, I'm, more, I'm mainly service. I provide accessibility consultation to the private and public sector here in the province of Ontario in Canada. We have a law very similar to what the Americans have as an ADA, ours is called the AODA. So I provide workshop, seminars, private consultation, and hopefully a solution. Cool, cool. Yeah, and that, that's just the business side. There is the other side, which is the awareness side. That's uh -huh. the more fun stuff. Where I so run interviews with other people. Is you're allowing people that, um, also you're allowing people that are doing, that are walking around with different types of physical or even mental disabilities to have Correct. access to buildings and things. Correct, so they yeah. Actually, and if they run into that, what do they do? They just contact you and go, okay, go get them. And then they just, it's like sicking, sicking their pit bull on them. And they go, I'm going well, yeah, to some, Yeah, some people see me as a, as a tax man, right? Because yeah. there are people, like I have a Facebook page. I have two different pages. I have the business side and I have an Avenger side. So if somebody runs into a problem, they will probably go to the Avenger page, fill in a report, that report comes back to me, and then I have something official, and then oh. I can take that to other authorities. Oh, that's and then great. we deal oh, with great. yeah, we deal with it. I have associates in various cities throughout the province because I don't really have a, a great big corporation building. I have little satellite offices. Me here, I have Toronto, Ottawa, Windsor, and Waterloo, Montreal, and I have one person down in Texas, and I have somebody out on the East Coast. So we're trying to make this global. Wow. So wow. They, yeah, they're all underneath my umbrella. But because they too, are disabled with some form or another, they work from their own places too. So we all meet up once a week through either Skype or Twitter and Hangout Google, and okay. we get stuff done. Yeah. Cool. Well, like I said, you're welcome to share your links and um, 
put any kind of like show show information about upcoming blabs in there as well. If if you have any sub, uh, subscription page or anything, you can add those URLs as well, and I'll go ahead and put them into the show notes. Yeah, or can I have even even better yet? You can just put right. your um, your profile page from Blab in there, and what I'll do is I'll grab that and put that into the show notes. Then that way they'll be able to go directly to your profile page and it'll show any kind of uh, upcoming events that you have. Yeah, well, right now I do have a little bit, but there, there's not a lot of typing space to put a lot of stuff in. Yeah, yeah. I think they so did everything. Kept, <laughs> yeah, I kept it to a minimum. Yeah. Okay, it was nice meeting you, Angie. Thanks for stopping by. We'll grab those yeah, links thanks. and put them in the show notes. Thanks for having me, Donald. Bye. Hi, welcome back to Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business, products, and or services. Today we have Sharita H. Cadenhead. That's correct. Did I get it right? Okay, cool. <laughs> you did absolutely great. <laughs> Sharita. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sharita Cadenhead. That's me. That's me. Okay, so how are you and uh, what do you do? I am doing very well, thank you. I am the founder of Renew, Refresh, Reset Your Life, and I'm a certified a certified life coach. Uh, I'm a brand new author. We just released a book called the I Am Woman Book, and I also host a Blab. And what I do is I help people exit out of their comfort zones and into their purpose, passions, desires, and goals. And that's basically what my Blab is surrounded by. I, I do interviews with people who are hitting the reset button on their life for one reason or another, job changes, uh, you know, maybe divorce or marriage, uh, career changes, out of work, it doesn't matter. And we talk life. about, yeah, talk about life, really, 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 we <laughs> do. And so, you know, we talk about conquering fears and, and, and coming out of our comfort zone so we can accomplish some of those things that we want to accomplish, but we get in these modes where we're so afraid to come out and give it a try. And so, you know, the goal is that everybody I have on there, of course, will help somebody and encourage somebody to come out of their own comfort zone or hit the reset button in their own lives. So it's, it's been pretty good thus far. Well, that sounds great. Um, so wh where, what do you, where do you concentrate most of your work? I mean, you're basically online, so you can be global as well as everyone else. But like we've had a lot of people that say, well, we want to stay in our own community. So what, where are you working across, across the board? Well, currently I am working uh, locally where I am, which is Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. Uh, I am because it, because with life coaching, you don't have to be present. Okay. It's mostly done uh, on a telephone line or online or through conference calling. So uh, while I don't have any clients outside of my local area, I am definitely open to it. Okay, so there are there are no limits in what I do. Right. No I'm, limits. I'm not <laughs> no limits. There are, there's no limit to what I do. I'm not stuck in any boundaries. Uh and this is a global venture. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Doesn't and matter where you be. are. Yeah, and right. it absolutely should be. Yeah. yeah. I mean these no topics that we talk global, about are, they're universal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And you know, uh people, you know, all across the country, all across the world. You know, uh, the one they live, they have their own set of challenges. Uh, and, and in these days where we have more entrepreneurs than we have ever had before, people are hitting the reset button on their lives all the time. You know, they're they're unhappy, either, either they're unhappy living the lives they're living, or they wake up and say, hey, you know, what am I doing here? This is not what I had planned for my life. You know, so it's about time for me to get to get in with what I really wanted to do, whether that was a, a goal from 20 years ago or five years ago or 10 years ago, you know, and it, particularly when you get to be older and you're not doing the things that you want to do. Cause I, you know, personally at, at, at my age, you know, I don't want to do anything except what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I heard exactly. a story about a guy that was uh, that was an attorney most of his life. And when he was something like 60 some odd years old, he decided he wanted to go into medicine. So he went to school to, to study medicine. Is but, that right? Yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, and I read something similar uh, just here recently over the past couple of weeks. I don't know if this person was an attorney, but he was a he was a professional, so like an attorney or a doctor or something like that. Well, he quit his job to become an artist. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I thought that was really cool. 
you know, yeah. because people should be doing what they really want to do. You know, that's yeah. what that's what makes us well rounded. I want to go do some finger painting. Okay. <laughs> Look, that's, art that's is my art. Kind of, that's I mean, my kind you of can artistry. tell I like art, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, finger painting is my kind of artistry. That's the best that I'm going to do. That's the, however, I did take an art. I did take an art class a couple of years ago, and I ended up doing a self portrait, which I actually have on my wall because it was pretty darn good. Cool. Yeah, yeah it was cool. very cool. <laughs> I wouldn't call well, it. We'll have to see it sometime. Though. Yeah, for sure. I'll make sure we do that. Make sure we do that. Well, I just okay. want to hop back on and uh, thank you. Thank you so much. This is not the first time that I popped on your blab, but it's the first time I really had time to sit down and, and, and watch and listen. And I'll be back because I've been wanting to watch you forever. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad I've had this opportunity to do that. Okay. So you're welcome to share your links and also remember that this is blab.cafe number 102 just so it's easier for you to reference it. Because okay. that's what most people say. They go, oh, I don't remember which show I was on. <laughs> so if you have the number. Oh, yeah, you're... right. Yeah, then, then, you're, then you got it. So. Okay, I get it. Cool. Well, it's nice seeing you, Sharita. I'm going to stop in here. I'm in here and my web. Hi, welcome back to the Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business, products, and or services. Or in Kevin Scullion's case, it might be a podcast, huh? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been podcasting for probably two or three years. I'm not very reliable in terms of putting my podcast out, but I have a, a podcast diary of my travels around Scotland. And I was very, very lucky, probably about six years ago, to jump off the hamster wheel of work. And... I was always consuming podcasts when I'm out in my motorhome in remote areas. And then I thought, there's no content for what I'm doing. So I ended up doing my own. So if there's anybody listening to this, sorry, watching this video, or here's this content, I really do reach out to people who have a, a shared interest in Scotland. So anybody who's visited Scotland or is planning to visit Scotland or would like to visit Scotland at some point, then I've got so much information that I've gleaned from my travels, but from other people who've shared and exchanged information on my Facebook group. So the podcast is a community of people interested in Scotland. And the other part of the story that I'd like maybe to touch on another time, Donald, is, you know, that the whole motivation for doing it was jumping off the hamster wheel. It was this idea of, uh, um, what do they call it, living the dream. Yeah. You know, I was a, a very fortunate. I was a group chief exec of a number of companies at a a lot of work on. I was at that job for five or six years and I always wanted to retire early enough to do things in my life when I had some health, if you like. So grabbed the motorcycle <laughs> license and wandered around Scotland a few times and Ireland and then took a camper van around Europe and did all sorts of things and ended up settling on a motorhome that I now spend most of the year in around Scotland. So Digital nomad is a term people probably hear mentioned on a regular basis. So I'm in the middle of setting up a little business because I've been, you know, even with a frugal lifestyle, I've been burning cash for six years. So I'm now setting up a little business because I don't have a pension or anything to do things I like to do, which are all hobbies, but uh, I can monetize them partly through the almost the democratization of the internet. There's so many opportunities through social media and live streaming. So I do web design and audio production and uh, I've got a web hosting company I've just set up. So a whole, th whole range of things that I would like to do and I would like to do them from the van. So a business that's uh, very low overhead, no barriers to entry. And I was just reviewing my small little client portfolio and I've got a little cluster in Florida and a little cluster in Australia and a little cluster in England. Whereas 20 years ago, I would be out talking to local businesses in my town, you know, going to startup meetings, trying to drum up website uh, work uh, in my local town. And I hasn't even crossed my mind to do that. I'm straight into Blab or through other channels, the podcast, speaking to people all over the world. And you can yeah. have a global business with a handful of clients without any problem. Yeah. So yeah, that's that sounds great. And for those who are kind of interested in some of your work, um, you're actually the one that's the responsible for helping me to get Blab.cafe up and running. And that was a huge, huge help because um, when it came to uh, setting up uh, the website, um, you've been very instrumental in getting that going. 
and um, wouldn't have been able to do it without you, or at least somebody with <laughs> the same amount of knowledge of uh, building websites that you have. So that's mm -hmm. been um, much appreciated. Um, so basically, what you've got is you've got the um, you've got the podcast, and then you've got the um, website hosting. New and, business. Uh, what else? Yeah, which is bringing in all my hobbies under one banner, which are all digital yeah. projects. And I'm able yeah. to design websites and host them and manage all that either from here, which I call bricks and mortar, which is home, or when I'm out in the, the road, I've got uh, all the support in the van. I've got a, a, a little studio for my podcast. I've all the laptops, I've cards for every mobile provider, and uh, I can do everything remotely in the van without any problem. If there's a support ticket comes in, I've got it on my phone as it happens, you know. So there's there's no reason why I need to be location centric. And uh, right. that's what really appeals to me. I can sit out in the countryside and do all the things I'd like to do. I see uh, Charlotte out in chat is talking about uh, coming over to Scotland. So there's there's also so many people I've met. I mean, I've been on YouTube and Facebook and other platforms, but it's the podcast that's brought me attraction. And it's the podcast that's resulted in me personally meeting people. You know, a number of people, particularly from America, when they've been on vacation. They've yeah. discovered my podcast in the planning stage, and then they've met me on their actual trip around Scotland. So, and I meet people. So, off by if chance I understand that right, then. So, if I understand it right, though, if somebody does come to Scotland and finds himself in an area where you are, you know, living or <laughs> traveling through, you can actually give them uh, tips and waypoints yeah. to uh, make their trip a little bit more enjoyable. The last few years, I've just been meeting up with people, and uh, prior to their visit and afterwards for the podcast, I've been doing Skype interviews, and I'm launching a new service this year, which is if MD wants almost like a remote guide, they can come through my Skype service, and I'll uh, you know plan their holiday, and when they're on their vacation, if they need any assistance, they'll get a Skype call every day for you know whether it's 15 minutes, half an hour, and I can That's tell cool. them that if you know I can almost guide them around the country based on the weather. And the opportunity if they're flexible or just deal with any particular problems not a concierge type service but more a just a general how's it going and advice about you don't miss this beach on your way past and i know all the back roads i don't really concentrate on the golf and the shortbread and the, the whiskey and edinburgh castle these things are all well covered in the guides i tell people all the, yeah. the back roads and the places to go that are you know a bit more remote so yeah the out of out of the way places that are yeah. a little more fun to see, yeah. The culture. <laughs> Cause the tourist places are tourist places. I remember I went to the Leaning Tower of Pisa one time and that was place was a zoo. I mean, it's just overrun by people from every country in the world. And they're all just scammering to get pictures. And it's like, okay, yeah. I've seen enough of this. Edinburgh is a beautiful city and Edinburgh Castle is very, very popular. So I wouldn't I wouldn't knock it, but once you get beyond the, the big sites, you can do that, and then you can get into the more remote areas. And there's so many right. parts of Scotland that are relatively uh, not frequented by the tourist uh, coaches. I find yeah. the Europeans and their camper vans are very good at exploring. And people don't realise that Scotland is an archipelago of islands. We've got something, depending on what you classify, how small you go, you could easily say we've got 700,000 islands. And there's about 100 of wow. those islands are currently inhabited, even if it's only a few people. Some are very big, like Sky or Arn. Or, but uh, there's but a whole do they have wi communities. <laughs> <laughs> well, that yeah. sounds great. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab your links, and we will share them into the uh, chat bar. And then I will go ahead and extract them and put them into the show notes as well. Thanks for coming by, uh, Kevin. Yeah, nice thank you for letting me pitch. Hi, welcome back to Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business, products, and or services. Today we have Mohammed Mahdi. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> cool. Great. So what is it that you do, Mohammed? Sure. Um, we have a community, a global community of entrepreneurs, and we come from a variety of different walks of life, different educational experiences, different careers. Um, this community is entitled create lifestyle freedom. It's three words that is not only a call to action, but it's also an internet, it's growing to be an international movement. And 
So if you were to ask me, what does create lifestyle freedom mean? I would say that it uh, is the, the state of having an amazing life, you know, really focused in on your purpose with no concerns about how the monthly affair is met, how your monthly expenses are met, and making a positive impact on the world around you. Now, um, this in this community, uh, most of us are uh, marketers, and we have a think tank, a mastermind that is hosted on a on a web based platform. But we also have a Facebook uh, a Facebook entry point. The name of that mastermind is First Biz Steps. So if you were to go to um, if you were to go to Facebook, uh, you would probably find us as at uh, facebook.com forward slash First Biz Steps, and it stands for First uh, the First Steps Business Incubator. It is a place where um, two camps of people come. You either have people that are complete newbies to the online world; they've heard about how to earn online. They may have friends that have done something in e-commerce and they're anxious yeah. to see if they can um, if they can leave the grind and start to earn income online. And but they don't have a clue as to how to start. Or maybe they're they, they have an idea of their own and they're looking for a way to bring that idea into fruition. Uh, the other camp is uh, people that already have some kind of uh, growing concern. They could be in direct sales online, they could be an affiliate sales, it could be a network marketer, they may even have a brick and mortar business. And their concern is how do we scale this up? How do we increase our brand exposure? Um, I'm sorry, how do we increase our brand presence? How do we expose our product or service offering to a larger audience? And how do we, uh, in, how do we increase conversions, either having more people to partner with us, or having more people to become our customers. And so what we do in First Biz Steps, that business incubator, is we take people through a four week boot camp that focuses on online skill development. It's a four week boot camp, and it's absolutely free. Uh, it is to develop core online marketing skills. And after you, uh, after you complete that, then you're absolutely encouraged and welcome to come into our larger advanced uh, mastermind that is a paid mastermind. It's, a, it's a, uh, a paid community. It's entitled My Online Marketing Success. So you can find that at myonlinemarketingsuccess.com. Okay. And uh, yeah, and so that is in a nutshell what we do. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a learning community. We also have a product. It's a digital digital tool suite that's entitled Spark. So if people are looking for um, a wonderful tool suite that they can have on the desktop that allows them to um, have a WordPress uh, premium blog with a custom landing page design tool, a custom um, lead capture design tool, uh, email autoresponder and page builder, uh, software all in one package on your desktop, Spark is the answer. It's for people that uh, want a personal productivity tool that is at a, an incredible value. So uh, we have a learning community. We have a digital product that is, is tangible and yeah. real that people can use. And uh, we also show people how to begin earning that's cool. online. That's, so obviously that's you good. are, a, you, you've got, uh, you're located in what's, what city again? Okay. Sure. We're okay. In Atlanta, but you're obviously Georgia. you are across across the states, Nick. and you could be global as well. But yeah, I mean that makes makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, our our company site, the corporate site, is globalwealthnetworks.org, and you can find out about the uh, the community, about our uh, learning activities, our mastermind, and our products. If you go to Global okay. Wealth Networks with an S dot org, Global Wealth Networks dot yeah, org. So Thank you so what much, we can Doc, do is for, we can grab your links. You can put them into the chat bar and I'll extract them and put them into the show notes. And if you just do me a favor and make a note of this, this is blab.cafe number 102. So then that way you know where you are on that list of uh, videos. And it'll be easier to find it if you ever need to re uh, reference it. 
And then also, if you share out that uh, YouTube channel, it's also, it's, it's one of those old sayings, like um, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. And what happens is all of this cross uh, sharing, it just helps build all these different communities because. Yes, sir. I was looking for the yeah. button and I it's didn't not there anymore. The They've been changing the tools around a, a little glitch. bit, but um, yeah, so we're going to grab those links and uh, I wanted to say thanks, Mohammed, and you're welcome to jump on anytime you have any announcements or any updates. Uh, you're welcome to jump on anytime. Thanks for stopping by. Down. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Hi, welcome back to the Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business products and or services. Today we have Justin Owens in the house. How are you doing, Justin? I'm doing great. How are you? Really good. So uh, what kind of products or services are you uh, working on these days? Well, I am actually currently at work and I'm waiting on uh, one of my courses to render right now. I'm, uh, there's a huge rendering time for 20 minute courses, but I teach online. And I, you probably are familiar with the platform, but I teach on Udemy.com. And uh, I have several courses. I have a total of three courses right now that I teach, and they have been very successful over the last three months. And I am doing really well, and I would just love to reach out to more people. I just discovered Blab less than, uh, well, a little over than two weeks ago. And I just love this platform. And so I'm just trying to connect with people and, and find out um, all the different things that are going on. And uh, but to tell you a little bit about the courses that I teach on Udemy, I do have uh, the courses listed on my website, J-O-B-R-I-A-N B -R -I -A -N com, And I also have links to coupon codes for those courses. So rather than paying $300 for those courses, you could just pay $19 for the courses. Um, I teach courses on Camtasia, which is screen recording software. I also teach a course on the Entrepreneur Guide, websites for the business minded. And then I also teach a course that I have termed, and I've coined the success game, how to develop and win big at business. I've owned several different businesses throughout my career, and I've learned a lot from those things. And I try to use that experience in my courses, and it's been going really well. I have over 8,000 students so far that I've reached on Udemy and uh, over 70 five-star reviews. And I'm, I'm just in love with the platform. But at the same time, I'm trying to reach out and say, hey, you know what? Blab is actually something to look into more than just promoting my own business. I mean, I'm learning by being a part of your Blabcast. So I just think that this is awesome. Yeah, I, I really like the platform because it's uh, it's really well, uh, well connected to uh, Twitter for one thing. And yeah. Um, yeah, that's where I'm finding a lot of new uh, traffic coming from. And the fact that it's just designed so it's uh, very intuitive and easy to use. That's the, that's the most important thing of all, you know. Right, or, right. You know. Do you so, mind if I uh, plug the website in the chat bar so that way people... Um... Yeah, that's what okay. I was going to say is you can go ahead and share your links in the uh, chat bar and I'll extract those links and put them into the show notes over on, um, on okay. Um, okay. my... Yeah, my location. And then th they will also show up on the YouTube uh, video. So you are in blab.cafe number 102. Awesome. And just to break that down really quickly, that website is also my blog site. I've just updated and launched it a few days ago. And um, I'm so happy about that site because one of the biggest issues that I was trying to face is how do I make it more visually modern and appealing? And so now I am absolutely in love with that website and I, I like to update it and, and feature new content. So I know that you were telling the previous guest that I could find that information. I could find the recorded video and link to it, sort of a scratch your back screen, you know. Some, you yep. know, scratch your mind scenario. So I'd definitely love to, um, I've already followed you on Twitter and I've followed you on Blab. So I'd love to find out more and, and just uh, really try to connect. Yeah, that's great. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll grab that link. And then do you have a link to your Udemy site as well? Um, all of those, all of the courses on yeah. my website feed back into the Udemy website. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so all of my blog posts and everything, it says, hey, just click here and you, it'll, it feeds them directly to my courses, which they okay. can take at an extremely discounted price. <laughs> cool. That sounds great. Thanks yeah. a lot, Justin. Thanks yeah. for stopping by. Yeah, no problem. 
Thanks for stopping by the Blab.Cafe. This is Blab.Cafe number 102. Thank you for being a guest or coming into the chat bar and making your comments. Thanks a lot. We'll see you tomorrow. Hi, welcome back to Blab.Cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business, products, and or services. Today we have patent attorney Evans, or is that your first name, last name? My name is Andrea Evans, and I own the law firm of Andrea Hintz Evans. Okay, cool. So uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing for people, what your services include? Yes, I can. And thank you so much for having me here. So I provide patent, trademark and copyright legal services. I love what I do because I help individuals, entrepreneurs, small to large business owners and all individuals. Anybody that's doing anything has some type of intellectual property. So everybody needs to know a good intellectual property attorney. Wow. Very concise message. <laughs> well, what's unique about my practice is that before I started my business, I actually worked at the patent and trademark office. I was a patent examiner for three years and trademark examining attorney for two. And this year I'll celebrate my ninth anniversary. And I'm really proud of that because I've helped so many entrepreneurs um, and companies protect all their patents, trademarks, and copyrights. And what I like to say is that because I worked at the patent and trademark office, I can help to cut costs because I can foresee issues that someone who doesn't have my skill set would overlook. And we charge flat rate fees for our services. So, you know, that's really beneficial to all size entrepreneurs and individuals. Well, that sounds great. Uh, so what would be the average? Uh, I mean, if, if I designed something that was like this size and it's just I, I can show you all the documentation on the designs and everything. Um, what would that really what would it cost for somebody to do something like that as far as filing for the patents and everything well you know that's a good question it's not as simple as you just said you know in terms of that because the first but thing it is, should be yeah well the thing is you want to make sure first you have something that's patentable so what's involved in that is at my firm we do things in stages so what i mean by that is first we start off with the consultation and we want to see if you really have something that's patentable. So sometimes we can just use free resources like Google Patents to see what's out there. So I highly recommend your viewers go to google.com forward slash patents. And then they can take a look at um, the patents that are out there just doing their own informal search. And that way that'll help you be more prepared when you come to a consultation. And we host consultations by phone or social, you know, other uh, video chat platforms or in the office here in Maryland. But I love what I do because it's federal. So I do represent clients all over the world. Now, after you have that consultation, we have a formal search process. And that's where having that experience at the patent office comes in hand because I was a patent examiner searching patents every day. So now I'm on the opposite end. So that search will help us to determine how broad or narrow the invention could be in terms of the application. And it also helps to see what's out there before you file it, because most don't realize once you file a patent application, you actually can't add anything to your application. And so yeah. you want to make sure you have everything in and the process takes so long that you really want to make sure that you've covered all your bases. So after you figure out if it's patentable, that's when you want to proceed with filing the patent application. And there are two different types. One is the provisional application that doesn't cost as much, and I'd say it may be about $3,000 for that. Um, you have the non-provisional, which is the one that is examined and assigned to the patent examiner. And it totally depends on the complexity of the invention, um, the time that you need to, because there are different deadlines. So I just recommend if you really have something, you seek the help of a professional so they can kind of outline what steps need to be taken. But sometimes though, Donald, you raise a good point. The Cell phone cover looks very simple, but sometimes those are really difficult patent applications because the invention is in such a broad industry where there's so many of those different Lots of competition. Right. You want to make it different. And so so many references to review that it could take you even more time to review what's out there. So it, it really all depends at my firm. Um, 
I, my niche is really helping individuals and entrepreneurs. So I love the flat rate model because yeah. people are scared to talk to attorneys nowadays. And people and, don't, and, and, they don't want to be nipple. Well, talking to that point, then what would you say to, I mean, to that whole point, that whole idea of those people who would might consider, they'd say, well, the whole industry that I'm in is so competitive that a person could turn around and copy my design and still sell it in another country or in another venue and not even be um, what's um, uh, not even be exposed for maybe a year or so. But by that time, they might have already closed down shop and they've moved on to another product. So it's not like you've got any legal. Um, there's there's no way to go after them because they've already closed or changed their designs and they're, you know, flew the coop, so to speak. <laughs> Good point, but maybe, you know, and it totally depends because although there's no worldwide patent, there are ways to still get protection in other countries. And so, you know, I don't want to get too technical, but there that is an option. And so most firms have relationships with other patent attorneys in other countries. I just got a beautiful patent from Canada today in the mail for one of my clients. And the patent looks so pretty, you know, with the Canadian leaf on it and everything. So it can be done. Uh, but you're right. While you have something pending, uh, meaning you just filed an application, there really is no recourse for that. You do have to have the patent. Um, but what I find is that if you don't have the necessary means to really make the invention and financially you can't handle the costs, there are ways to go to trade shows. There are ways to um, speak at different conferences. I've seen a lot of clients uh, get investors that way. So it's better to have something pending versus nothing. And if you don't have anything filed, you won't be able to touch the infringers at all. So it's better to have something than to just kind of have it out there for fair game for anyone to take or make. So I'd rather you, I'm all pro patents, you know, I'm pro intellectual property. I know some people just feel like it's not worth the time or money, but there are ways you can expedite it too. Normally yeah. it may take about three years to get a patent, but there are ways you can pay extra and have that patent in one year or less. So that's an option. Oh, that's great. That's good to know. I, I had no idea that there was any flexibility there because <laughs> I knew that the process, because I had applied for a patent a long time ago for a children's product. Uh, and that was uh, from a place in California. And um, yeah, it was a really wild bumpy ride that I went through because the company that I was working with was, was a bunch of criminals. So oh, I mean, I hate to hear yeah, it. it's, it's hard. It's hard to find those uh, legitimate uh, people out there. So, yeah, it really is. It's so sad because um, I try to travel to different trade shows and do a lot of speaking. And I love social media platforms like this because I want to get the word out um, that you're right. There is a good reputable firm out here doing legitimate work because a lot of the larger firms don't want to help individuals because they don't want to risk you having one invention where a big toy company would come with a hundred. So they rather turn you away than work with you. And for me, my motto is every business has to start somewhere, whether it be small. So what I love is I'm able to see my clients grow. So in the nine years, you know, I'm seeing my clients now um, go on Shark Tank and I'm seeing yeah. them have success in different stores so that's really incredible that it all started with just one person saying i have a problem to solve so i really admire it Benners. yeah i had uh, i had a girl come on here from easy peasy and okay. she was showing a product that's for for children and for handicapped people and i was like yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> she was showing it and she's going we're going on shark tank in two weeks and i'm like oh right cool that's great well i wish her success and i usually like to do a lot of uh, Twitter chats about Shark Tank, so I'll probably be looking out for her and uh, tweeting about that. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. The name of her product is well, the name of the company is Easy Peasy. Uh, the product name is something like uh, I don't know, Happy. It's like some kind of a feeding tray for children, <laughs> and it sticks to the countertop, and it's pretty oh. cool. It's a pretty neat design. Yeah, and you know, silicone too. So. Okay. And uh, speaking of good baby products, they have a huge baby show uh, that I love. You know, I love going to different trade shows and I don't know if you go to, to a lot of trade shows, but it's really interesting to just see what's new and what's yeah. coming out on the market. So, yeah. That's that's a lot of fun. Sure. Okay. Well, it's uh, 
great to meet you. And the uh, best thing to do is to share your links here in the chat bar. And I will take those out and put them into the show notes over on YouTube. And this is blab.cafe number 102. And um, so thanks for stopping by. Okay, thank you. Thanks for joining blab.cafe. This is a place where you can introduce your business products and services. This is blab.cafe number 102. Thank you very much for joining. We'll see you tomorrow.